Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bailey and I'm a motion graphics artist. And today I want to show you a nifty little trick in After Effects where we're going to learn how to edit multiple layer properties at once using expressions. So let's open up After Effects. And let's just create a new composition. You can go create new composition right here, or you can go up to here and hit new composition. And these parameters don't really matter very much. Let's just call it main, hit OK. And let's create a new solid, control Y. And we'll just make this 100 by 100, just for the testing purposes. And let's create another solid, control Y again, just to give ourselves a little background. That'll be beautiful. All right, let's throw that down there. Cool, so what we can do here is let's open up the rotation on this blue object here just by hitting R, got the rotation there. And what we're gonna do is Alt click the stopwatch to bring up the expressions for this parameter. So today we're just gonna use wiggle to kind of get a sense of what we're doing here. So we're just going to type in wiggle, open parentheses, and the first number is going to set the frequency, let's just say 10. What that's going to do is say that 10 times per second it's going to move on average. And the second parameter is the amplitude, so let's just do, I don't know, 5. That'll be how much it's going to rotate randomly. And the wiggle parameter is just a a nice little expression that will give you some random movement for that parameter. And let's just hit N to make our comp space for a preview, and I'm going to hit 0 to do a RAM preview. And we can see here that the square is now rotating a little bit with our wiggle. Yay, it looks amazing! Okay, so let's say we wanted to have a whole bunch of these squares on the screen at once. We had a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to do three, and let's just do another RAM preview by hitting zero again. You can hit spacebar, but it's not real time. So we got, yay, they're all wiggling a little bit randomly. But let's say that we're like, you know, two or three days down the road, we decide, you know what, let's slow those things down. Now we could open up all of the rotations here and go into their expressions. And animate them individually but what if there's a way to animate them all at the same time so let's delete all but one we're going to create an adjustment layer let's do Control alt y that'll create an adjustment layer you can also go up to layer new adjustment layer right here but i like to tell people the control keys because it's good to get used to that if you're not already and on the adjustment layer let's just click it and we're going to add an effect. Effect, expression controls, slider control. What it's going to do is just pop a slider control right here. You can see it here, or if you twirl down, you can see it in the effects slider control right there. So basically what we've done is just added a editable number right here. Now, what we want to do is to use this number here in place of the numbers that we have in our expression inside of this wiggle. So what we can do here is first, let's go back to the adjustment layer and we're going to duplicate that slider control by hitting control D. So we've made another one. And just for fun, I'm going to hit enter to rename these. I'm going to call this one frequency just to make it a little easier to understand. And this one amplitude, amplitude, enter. Okay. <clears throat> So now let's go into the wiggle. What we want to do is call these numbers instead of these numbers. So I'm going to delete this 10, and in its place, I'm going to use the pick whip to drag it onto the frequency slider up here. What it's going to do is say, for that value, you're going to look at this comp layer, adjustment layer one, the effect frequency, and it's going to input that number into right here. Let's do the same thing for the amplitude. So delete the five, whip it to the amplitude slider, and it does the same thing as you can see here. And if you run out of room here, you can just slide this down. All right. Cool, so now if we scrub through this a bit, we can see that it's not moving. But if we change these parameters back to 10 and five, or 50, 
five. Oh, it's working. I hit zero, by the way, to do the RAM preview. Ooh, cool. So now let's just do a little test. Let's duplicate this square a whole bunch of times. Look how many squares there are on the screen, guys. Okay, let's do another RAM preview by hitting zero on the keypad. Cool beans, man. And of course, as you may have guessed, if we edit these numbers down here, let's increase the frequency. So we want it to rotate a whole bunch in each second. And let's increase the amplitude just to really get a sense of it. And as you can see, they're all changing. And since we're using the wiggle property, each layer is rotating a little bit differently. And that's based on the index, but I won't get into that. That's based on these numbers here. Whoop, I don't need to save that. All right, so that's pretty much it. And you can use this for all sorts of things if you're using expressions. So let's go back into the rotation. You don't have to just use this for wiggle, you can use it for anything. It's a basic principle that can be applied to a lot of different situations. And I'll just show you a quick example of an instance where I used it. So this is one of my commercials I made a while back for Matter Control uh, for the company Matter Hackers. And as you can see here, I've got all these leaves on this tree. It's like a 2D scene. And what I wanted the leaves to do was to kind of rotate a little bit, almost like they were being blown in the wind. So they weren't so static. And I did this very same thing. I, on each leaf, I applied a wiggle modifier or an expression rather. And then I used a single adjustment layer to control all of their amplitudes and frequencies. Because what ended up happening was later down the line, I decided, you know what? I should increase that a little bit because you can't really see it. So I'll just play this. And they're kind of moving just a little bit. And it's a subtle thing, but it's an example. Not sure if it came through well on the capture, but we'll see. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this has been useful to you guys. And go out there, use expressions. They're very useful. Maybe you've already been using them a lot. Maybe you want to get into it. Um, expressions are, they're pretty neat, dude. All right, talk to you guys later.